this bylaw so that we as a town can indicate where we would like the recreational marijuana dispensary dispensaries to be located. And those would be light industrial and industrial. So we ask for your support. If you're under the Cannabis Control Commission guidelines, which is very lengthy, very stringent. However, they state that a recreational marijuana dispensary can be located in a business district. And that's what we're trying to avoid by taking a proactive stance in adopting this bylaw to the word recreational marijuana, they don't seem to go hand in hand. Um, and I'm not talking about medicinal marijuana, because I'm 100% behind any medicinal marijuana facility opening up in this town. It's the recreational one. So we have to allow them in town. Yes, we do have to we allow have them to in town. Yes. No way we can deny their Mr. McDonald, uh, the answer is a town can forbid non-medical marijuana. Uh, but if it's a town that has voted in favor of the uh, referendum question that was on in November of 16, which Somerset you was, was uh, yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. If you vote in favor, yeah. the only way you can ban it is both a town meeting vote and then another an election referendum. Uh, which I think we can now, uh, marijuana can be, can be smoked and it can be used. Uh, public, uh, not, not in public, not, not so this time can be done publicly, but that it can be sold medicinally and then July 1st recreationally. So that's the law. That, that's it. It, has not, it doesn't matter what our moral and ethical values are and that we brought our children up not to, 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 to do drugs. And whether you think the zoning once this passes. If that passes, Jeff. If, 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 right. if each one passes, you have, you still be expanding the zoning. Uh, but only for uh, one, Jack, it, just clear. Article 3, which you're referring to, is only for one site. Right. So right. each I, site I, I, we'll have, we'll have would to have to come, to come before the uh, second vote. I understand that. Right. I understand that. Uh, issue and have jumped ahead in step. It seems to me that the community should have had the opportunity to vote yes or no as to whether we want recreational marijuana in our community. We are being told, we are being told now that if we don't vote, we don't want to... Please the, uh, be respectful of the speaker. He has the right to say what he would like to say. You're not going to correct him from your seats. We'll just keep it the way it is. And because it requires a two-thirds vote of those present in voting, all those in favor of Article 2, please stand. Passers? The first vote required would have been 156 in the affirmative. The votes were 198 in the affirmative. I guess what I would want to hear from the, the proponent is whether or not they would give a commitment to only keep that facility as a medical marijuana dispensary and not to uh, uh, request a license to sell recreational marijuana. So what kind of company potentially could we have here if this could pass this tonight? By the way, I would like this to pass. I'll uh, just say that up front. So some questions with the police chief wants us to test. Yes, I do. Um, so I, I visited the site at Littleton. I saw uh, how professional it was, how secure it was. In fact, the, the director of security is a retired police chief He's sitting right there, Mike Gallon from uh, Rochester, New Hampshire. Rochester was one of the first um, places in New Hampshire that actually had a mar marijuana grow facility. If we didn't change the bylaws making them, us making that decision, saying, no, you can't be there. I know several people with significant disabilities that actually benefit from the use of recreational marijuana. I know people think, oh, anxiety, that's just something everybody says, and it is used around way too much. But some people with significant disabilities, the anxiety is crippling, and it hinders them and makes them be unable to be a part of society. And as a parent, it's the most heartbreaking thing to see. <laughs> And it's heartbreaking for somebody who's grown up in the just say no when marijuana is bad to actually get yourself to the point where you look into rec to medicinal marijuana and say, 
Would this be okay for my child? Would that help them with their seizures? Would it make them so he could leave the house? I'm not saying these things for you to look at me and go, oh, poor thing. These are things that families deal with. The other thing is, took the training from um, the woman who teaches at Swansea Mall, and we can do it ourselves. We, we do so many things right now. You can see part of, to the left there, um, near the building, that's our, our garden there. We have luau's out there, we have cookouts out there. Where we're going to find a place to do all that and pop all these hands. We really <coughs> love this site. Thank you. Thank you.